do you know all of these new features coming to messages? Let's find out. Hey, before we get too deep, be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss the latest Apple news and rumors. With iOS 18, the Messages app is getting a big upgrade. New ways to express yourself and communicate. I want to start with my favorite new feature and something I've seen people asking for in so many of my videos. The ability to schedule texts. To do so, open Messages and jump into a text thread. Type out your message, but instead of hitting the send button, tap the plus button on the left. A blue box will appear above your message with a time and date. Adjust this to when you want to send your message. Then you can hit that send button. It shows sent like other messages, but it has a white background and a dotted blue line around it. Multiple messages can send later and you can edit them while they're still pending. And you can send it instantly change the time, or just delete it. SendLater is supported for any iMessage thread, including groups and users who haven't upgraded to iOS 18. It unfortunately doesn't work for SMS texting though, those green bubbles. The reason why is because with iMessage, it's able to upload and schedule the message to send even if your phone doesn't have cellular access. But with SMS, it can't schedule it for you later if you don't have service. Speaking of SMS, we should talk about RCS. If you aren't familiar with the new standard, it's essentially the successor to SMS and MMS texting. I won't go into the technical side of things. If you want that, check out my video that I've linked here, but it will finally allow better communication with Android devices. The messages will still be green, but it will say RCS instead of SMS in the compose field. RCS messages will have higher resolution images, videos, and GIFs. They can send over Wi-Fi and the internet instead of through your cell carrier every time. There are even read receipts and typing indicators, a lot of improvements. Maybe biggest of all for me, group messages shouldn't have nearly as many issues. If you've had issues sending messages to Android users, sound off about it down below in the comments. Real quick, while I've got you here, give me just like a minute to tell you about my sponsor for this video and these amazing iPhone cases. Starting out with the classic hybrid case. It's a clear shell case, but since it's a hybrid case, it's also a little bit flexible. Probably the best part is the do it all stash stand that is built in right around the lenses. You can browse or watch videos at any angle between 15 and 85 degrees. This case also has super strong magnets, up to 1500 G of pull strength. My favorite case of the three is this soft cloud case. It also has that built-in do-it-all stash stand. It has very strong magnets. If you're saying, Andrew, I need more protection than that, don't worry, ESR has got you covered too with their Armor Tough case. This is really gonna protect your phone. It's a two-piece design with 360 degree total phone protection. Armor 8 camera lens protectors on the back, shock absorbing air guard corners, tough clear acrylic back, dual layer edges, built in Armor 8 screen protector, dust shield, and 13 feet of drop protection. And as you probably expected, it also has the built in do it all stash stand and super strong MagSafe connection for any and all of your accessories. Maybe you're not a case person, but I really recommend using a screen protector. And there's new Armorite screen protectors from ESR that are super easy to install with an automatic dust removal tool and a flawless fit tray. Thank you as always to ESR for sponsoring this video. If you want to grab any of these accessories, there's links for them down below in the description. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. As we move along, the next change is with tap backs. Tap backs are great and all, but they've been limited to the same few for ages now. And they're just gray. With iOS 18, there are now 3D color redesigned icons instead. That's admittedly a bit boring on its own. The more important takeaway is that any emoji can be used for a tap back. The most recent emoji will show with a swipe or tap the gray icon at the end to pull up the full emoji keyboard. The redesigned tap back images make more sense now since they'll be sitting alongside any other emoji. Lastly with tap backs, it's easier to see who did what. If you tap on a message with those reactions, it'll show a little pop-up broken down by each emoji and which people sent what response. Get excited, because with this update, you can format your text. As my friend said, his sarcasm will finally be properly represented. You can bold, italicize, strike through, and underline your text. To do this, you can select the text and swipe to text effects, 
or tap the text effects icon to the right of the autocorrect suggestions. You'll see not just the typical formatting, but eight animated effects. Big, small, shake, nod, explode, ripple, bloom, and jitter. Oh, and by the way, these text effects work for emoji too. Make a head nod or make your coffee cup shake. If you've ever had issues sending your messages because of lack of reception, iOS 18 is going to help this. If you have a supported device, iPhone 14 or later at this point, you can send messages via satellite. You do need a clear view of the sky, but messages can be sent without Wi-Fi or cellular, even emoji. Emoji, by the way, are even bigger when you send just one at a time. There'll be different sizes based on how many you sent, and this new one is bigger than never was before. Finally, Apple Intelligence will deliver some awesome generative features, including for those emoji. You can create your own, called Genmoji, on the fly, based on just an idea or description. If you don't see an emoji that matches what you need, just ask Apple Intelligence to make it for you. It'll give you multiple options, all styled like standard emoji. Then they send like any of the Unicode characters. Let me know what emoji characters you've been missing down in the comments. Other than creating Genmoji, you can create whole images. These are different than the emoji characters and come in different artistic, artistic styles here inside of messages or in the image playground app that you can save and use wherever you'd like. Couple quick small changes. When sending links, the card background now matches the content you're sending. Apple even seeds control for certain links, giving users the ability to customize how they look, as in full cards or small blocks of it, or if they can just be sent as plain text. And in CarPlay, the Messages app and Messages sent with Siri now show contact pictures for each person. The new features of Messages will arrive as part of iOS 18. Apple Intelligence features will first launch in beta before a full release in 2025. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest Apple news and rumors.